see blood. I hear the clashing of swords and the trusting of spirits. I see blood. Wounded soldiers in their rank and fouls. This sight is absorbed. The clashing of swords, the trusting of spears. I hear the cry of fathers, the wailing of mothers, and the lamentation of their children. Alas, the land overflows with tears. What is this war? What are these battles? Where did we go wrong? Whom did we offend? Everyone wonders in utter dismay as the grief grows by the day. Who are these people? What is this war? Where are these battles? You may now also be wondering. Now, these people are a country of soldiers called and commissioned for the king's cause. A nation of warlocks sold out to kingdom agenda by fire by force. A warrior nation, the home for men of valor, the habitation of Amazons, a people of praise, glory, and glamour, the king's anointed, his chosen ones, the king's army, yet his battle axe, the king's cavalry, yet his potent ass, a people of power and praise. Now, the battle. This battle is one against strongholds, a war with powers, with nations of imagination, a battle against thoughts, thoughts built up like towers, towers laden on foundations of falsehood, standing on beams of deceit, roofed with ideologies of devils, cemented with ignorance, painted with pride and fenced with faith. So we fight. In a world without end, carved mountains everywhere, no one can pretend. So we fight, casting down imaginations, pulling down strong walls. We fight, the stories of many victories yet untold. So we fight, defeating mindsets no matter how old. We fight, on the battlefield of the mind. We contend, we resist, cast and bind. We don't bargain. We fight because victory is our only game. So we fight until we win and win again. We fight. It is a good fight of faith. Taking the battle to the enemy's gates. Chanting in the spirit as we march. Praying in other tongues as we quote Remus in fervor and dispatch. This is how we fight. With the helmet of salvation and the shield of faith. The breastplate of righteousness we contend. Forgetting food, living water, this is how we fight. Speaking for things, engaging the world, all that we intend. Calling them to be, lifting up holy hands and cries of our Father. This is how we fight. A warrior nation. The home for men of valor, the habitation of Amazons. A people of praise, glory and glamour. The king's anointed, the called out man. The king's army, yeah, his battle axe. The king's cavalry is quoted as a people of power and praise. This is what we are born for. To win and to reign. And it is for this we fight, come so and come reign. We do not bargain with the world and we do not conform. We rather stand out for that our form. That's who we are. The Lord's army, warrior nation, people of power and praise, marked with glory and grace. Glory to reign and grace to fight. So we fight. To the church of the Lord, let us be a clarion call. To the groom's bride, a holy convocation. To the chosen and an alarm on the hill of Zion. Don't let the world win the battle for us. Stand up and fight. And in the day that you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Say, Lord.